Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to visit Lake Whitney State Park. It is the first weekend in February. The sun has finally come out. And what better a time to go camping at a Texas State Park? I'm currently set up on the horseshoe loop. This is the full connection loop at Lake Whitney State Park. There are, most of them are pull throughs. And look at the site. Better yet, look at my patio. You'll notice we got a lot of gear set up here. This is, this is the weekend of Dillo Days, the first annual Dude RV event. Give you a sight to it real quick. It is asphalt, relatively level, 30, 50, and sewer. There you go. And it, it's a good thing we're in full connection because all the restrooms here are closed due to freezing temperatures. Relatively flat. It wasn't too difficult to get level at all. Best of all, man, look at these trees. We do have a big fire pit over here. Of course, it was, a, it was standing water yesterday, but it's not now. Concrete picnic table. We do not have a canopy. And we're, we're gonna be challenged to camp in style because we do not have the ubiquitous lantern hook. We'll just have to make do with what we have. All right, so let me deploy the Valkyrie and we'll go see some stuff. So my good friend Christian, the go fast gladiator, He's out here at Lake Whitney State Park with me. He, he, he thinks it's really important that you know that they have got some, some of those really cool go high, jump out swings. Just don't break your ankle when you do it. Let's go see the facilities here on the Horseshoe Loop. So not exactly handicap friendly showers. Lots of echo. rather dated but there is well there there are there's a new facility on the other side of the park but, so we'll check that out when we get there if you're looking for a place to have a family reunion that's and, and you want that place to be kind of centrally located in texas lake whitney state park has got you covered they have got this fantastic group hall it's probably locked, so we're probably not going to be able to see inside it. <clears throat> yep, locked up tight. Anyway, it's got kitchen facilities, restroom facilities. It's usually booked in a, about a year in advance. So, just so you know, if you want to book it, you got to think long term. Several cookers, couple fire pits. Most important, air conditioning and heat. All right, let's go see a boat ramp. So my boat ramp fans will be glad to know. <laughs> you got a boat ramp. It's a really steep one, but at least it ends in the water, unlike most of those, unlike most of the boat ramps that we, have, we saw last year, at least these are in the water. We do have a courtesy dock. And it looks like maybe a family of beaver are residing under the courtesy dock. So sure enough, beaver lodging. All right. Let's go, let's go see some day use stuff. Lake Whitney State Park actually has a number of screen shelters for your pleasure. This is the, the right now where we are is, is adjacent to the day use swim area. And of all the screen shelters in this part of the, uh, in this part of Lake Whitney, in, in my personal opinion, number 17, would be the one because during the summer you're gonna have a beautiful shade canopy to reduce the heat 
Now they are just screen shelters. I don't know if we can see inside very well. Nothing fancy. It's a it's a picnic table and screens keeps the bugs off of you. Of course we've got an aluminum table, the ubiquitous lantern hook, a burn barrel, and a charcoal grill. That's all you need. Beautiful trees. All right, let's go see a beach. If you're looking for a way to cool off at Lake Whitney during the summer, come down to the day you swim area. You got about half a mile of beach. Plenty of tables to hang out, for mom and dad to sit and watch the kids play. I spent many an hour, many a day, as a child swimming here at Lake Whitney. Now the the water of Lake Whitney during the summer, it, it's unless we've had a rainstorm, it's going to be crystal clear. Lake Whitney is a, a haven for people learning to, to scuba dive. They, that's down by they typically do the scuba diving down by the dam, but the waters tip, during the summer can be crystal clear. The, the Brazos River has a very high salt content. So the waters are actually not even drinkable because there's so much salt. But it makes a unique environment for fish and it helps the water to stay crystal clear. And you float, you, you float just a little bit better in Lake Whitney than any other lake in the state of Texas. Uh, I'm just saying that. All right, let's go see some cabin stuff. You wanna spend the night at Lake Whitney, but you don't have an RV. You don't want to sleep in a tent. A screen shelter is too basic. You need a little more comfort. Well, you have three options. And they are cabins. This is cabin number C2. Barbecue, campfire, lantern, picnic table, water. Most important for Texas summers, air conditioning. Keep you cool when it's hot. Let's see if we can get a look inside this here cabin. We'll go around this side. Yeah, we got a little table in there. Can't see what else. What else do we have? Oh no. But I bet it doesn't have running water, so you'll have to go take a shower somewhere else. There's actually three cabins. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If solitude is your thing, and you're coming out to Lake Whitney, you might be interested in checking out. This is, this is screen shelter number 13. I checked out, the, look at the view. If you're going to have a screen shelter, this is the one you really want so that you're overlooking the lake. Of course, it is just a screen shelter. Not much in here. A light, picnic tables, fire extinguisher. But the most important thing is spending your night watching the sunset over this beautiful lake. This is one of the most epic places in the whole state park. As you can see, the, the, the lake is very, very low. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. Lake Whitney just happens to be a haven for fishing because of the beautiful lake. If you catch some fish, it, it, if, if you're camping out here at Lake Whitney State Park and you catch a whole bunch of fish, they've got a place for you to display your haul before you come in here and clean them at the fish cleaning station. They don't have screen on this one, so I guess, guess they're not too worried about the raccoons getting in there. Anyway, let's go see some tent camping stuff. One of my all-time favorite places to camp at Lake Whitney State Park is the Sunset Loop. And, and the reason is, you're at the end of the road. 
Got a couple of pull through sites and a nice stand of trees, but best of all, you have the view. And so this is site number 128 to 126 and 128. Both have your patio facing this. I mean, look at this beautiful oak tree and a picnic table. But best of all, you can come out here Sit right here and watch the sunset. How awesome is that? Man, it don't get any better than that. Well, I guess it does, but here, it doesn't get any better than that. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Whitney Lake State Park, Lake Whitney State Park. This is the newest, hello. This is the newest of facilities. Now this, this is a modern state park bathroom. Handicap accessible, wheelchair accessible. Lots of space. I don't know if the water's turned on or not. Ooh, yep, it's on. So if you if you're mobility challenged, yeah, let me let me get out of the echo. So if, if if you got a hitch and you giddy up and you need accommodating facilities way out here at the end of the road at the sunset sunset loop, it's the newest modern the modern facilities. All right, now Whitney. Lake Whitney State Park has something that very few, if any other, Texas State Parks has. Well, we'll go over there and look at it. You won't find it at too many Texas State Parks, but a couple of them have RC airfields. You see we've got your station for testing your jet engines and whatnot. You know, this is not a real elaborate setup as far as the this part of the facility goes, a staging area. But what is impressive is this incredible runway that is, frankly, it's it's sufficient for, hold on, let me get the camera seated. We're gonna, we're gonna go check it out. This runway is sufficient for more than just radio control model air miniature aircraft this this is a bona fide runway so if if you don't have an rv to drive or pull you don't have a car to drive but you want to come to lake whitney well, all you have to do is hop in your plane and fly here. Look at how long this thing is. Okay, and there's, there's another cyclist on the runway. Of course, you get down here to the end, it, uh, you, you, you really want to be getting some some elevation. And there's even a taxiway. Now, I'm not a pilot, so I, I don't know what the protocol would be to bring your airplane fly your airplane to Lake Whitney State Park and land on this runway. But you can do it! So now you know what state park to fly your plane to. Alright, let's go see some more stuff.
This is dedication. Yeah. yeah. You got to breaking the law, breaking the law. You did all the research for us, so all we have to do is just click and watch. I love Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's Does that bring a tear to your eye or what? That's cool. Oh, not, not quite a tear yet, but it's cool. We have come to the end of our visit to Lake Whitney State Park. And it's hard to believe this is the first weekend in February. This is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've got highs in the 70s today. Clear skies, birds chirping, and I gotta leave, man. Let's, let's talk about Lake Whitney State Park. This is most definitely a destination Texas State Park, as well as a waypoint stop. It's a little off the beaten path of most of your major freeways, but it's right here on Highway 22. If, if you're moving north or south out of San Antonio, if you're using Highway 22, and you need a place to stop, Lake Whitney State Park's got it going on. Most of the sites here on the loop are, are fairly level. The pads, yeah, they, they, they could stand to be better, but you know, uh, the first night, first two nights, we had a swamp in front of our, a swamp. <laughs> we had water standing in, in front of our door. The lake is still low, but that's the condition with most lakes in the state of Texas. That wouldn't stop the fish from biting. It's a good fishing lake. Yeah, there's there's just a lot going on for a for a lakeside state park here. You have Wi-Fi. I didn't mention that before. There is a public Wi-Fi spot here in Lake Whitney State Park, so you have connectivity. Starlink was working great. Had had enough sprint connection to be able to make calls and watch YouTube on the phone. So you've got some, some connectivity. Yeah, you should come visit Lake Whitney State Park. And that brings us to the end of this Dude RV experience. I do appreciate you stopping by and paying a visit and, and learning a little bit about Lake Whitney State Park. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That's why I do what I do, is to help you decide where you want to camp if you want to visit a public campground. For those of you who have been following along, man, I, I cannot express my gratitude deeply enough. Thank you so much for this opportunity. That's why I, get, that's why I do what I do, it's for you and for my patrons. I am most grateful. You got rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?